Experiment. To make up an approximate 0.1 molar solution of sodium hydroxide, to standardise it with a standard hydrochloric acid solution, and hence to prepare a sample of sodium chloride. In our last experiment, we used the standard solution of sodium carbonate to determine the exact concentration of a hydrochloric acid solution. The sodium carbonate solution was said to be a primary standard. The hydrochloric acid solution is called a secondary standard. This hydrochloric acid solution may now be used to standardise other solutions, for example, a solution of sodium hydroxide. Since sodium hydroxide absorbs water vapour from the air, we cannot weigh out a fixed amount of it and make it up to a solution of exact concentration. In this experiment, we will make up an approximate 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide solution and standardise it by titrating it against a hydrochloric acid solution of known concentration. The equation for the reaction is shown on the screen. In part one of the experiment, we will make up the solution of sodium hydroxide. Weigh out about one gram of sodium hydroxide on a clock glass. We must be careful not to allow the sodium hydroxide to come in contact with the skin as it causes severe burns. Since we will be finding out the concentration of the sodium hydroxide solution, the mass of the sodium hydroxide need not be accurately known. This will now be dissolved in Dionys water and made up to 250 centimetres cubed in a volumetric flask. In part two of the experiment, we will perform one rough and two accurate titrations agreeing to within 0.1 centimetres cubed. Having made up the solution in the volumetric flask, 25 centimetres cubed of the sodium hydroxide has been transferred to the conical flask using the same procedure outlined in the previous experiment. The burette has been filled with 0.1 molar hydrochloric acid up to the zero mark. A few drops of methyl orange are added to the conical flask. Perform one rough titration.
The color change at the end point is from yellow to pink. Record the reading on the burette. The rough titration figure was 24.2 cm3 of hydrochloric acid. We now perform two accurate titrations. Our first titration figure is 24.1 cm3. Our second titration figure is 24.2 cm3. The average titration value is 24.15 cm3. From the average titration figure, you can work out the exact concentration of the sodium hydroxide solution. The method of calculating this is shown in your textbook. A sample of sodium chloride may be isolated by repeating the above titration. When repeating the titration, leave out the indicator and add the same amount of hydrochloric acid as obtained in the above titration to the sodium hydroxide in the conical flask.
Pour the contents of the conical flask into an evaporating dish and evaporate almost to dryness over a hot plate. Allow the solution to cool. Note the formation of white crystals of sodium chloride inside the dish. These crystals are left to dry on a piece of filter paper.